Welcome to your weekly reading for June the 5th to June the 11th. I'm Robin Carlion from Raw Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, so we have not four cards for the first placement. We have three cards and for each sorry for each placement we have one so it's it's three placements and your first one here is the two of cups so this one is the situational energy this is actually really cool this is partnerships this is relationships this is people coming together and yes i mean people like two actual people coming together as opposed to sometimes i say like people places and things um this one here is there is there is fantastic bonds being created really strong partnerships um new relationships that are being created and you know what it, it's a lot of fun i feel like as we are like kind of in entering the summer there's just kind of there's i just feel like there's this new lightness and uh, I, I mean it could be that we well we're still kind of in the the sagittarius full moon energy but i feel like you know there's people that like really did like you know take it seriously and do some releasing and and actually you know like get some self-care work done that's what i'm really feeling is like people are really taking their self-care seriously uh finally so really important but anyway oh and also this could be a relationship with yourself and with your new path and with your new bond and your new commitment to yourself and to uh, everything that you have going for yourself but also like it's it's all of the above it's like relationships yes there definitely could be romantic relationships business partnership friendships just really strong bonds all across the board here with this card um this yeah like there's rainbows there's fish there's two and that fish it's like the fish is is indicating like like Think of like swimming upstream and thinking about how hard the fish has to work to swim upstream or any of us swimming upstream against the current. It's very, very difficult. So for this one here and then having this moon energy, that water energy, it's like that, that, that um, intuitive guidance and there's that like divineness to this. This is really cool. Um, yeah, like just, just strength strong um committed yeah this is like long-term things or or relationships that are really showing up um that are meant to be and you know like think of it as you know you've done your work and you've released things and um it, it doesn't have to be just during full moons that you release things you can release things anytime you want but that you are you are consciously saying hey you know what i want to do this work for myself i want to do this work for my future and you're doing it for yourself and that's that's the whole vibe that i'm getting from this is that you have just opened up and made room for a lot of things. And that's been the messaging over the last couple of weeks is making room. And especially the last couple of days, if you look back at my reels or my YouTube shorts, you will see that those are the messages that are coming through. Now, look at this page of cups, the page of cups. Again, there is another fish. Now, this one doesn't show, well, there's two seahorses here, but usually what this card shows in the cup is there is that fish and there is that new new partnership, new relationships, because that's what that page means as well. There is new relationships. Oh, I love this. So this week, I, like, I find it's like very fun, very giddy. Um, I find that it's going to be really easy for you that's awesome it's gonna be really easy for you to approach people for you to um maybe speak up ask for things um i just feel like there's a lot of like i just feel like it, it, you're you're going to feel that it's going to be a lot easier uh for you to uh my goodness queen of swords to speak up 
to ask for things to have like that really clear clarity We're we are in that Gemini energy right now and it's just it's just sweet it's awesome it's it's amazing I just there's that lightness that giddiness that having fun energy so um feel this harness this energy because it feels just so like divine and I think there is something with Venus that's happening as well um something um ast astrologically that's happening so that very well could be that as above so below this is amazing this is really cool oh my gosh I'm so happy and excited for all of you and just to think like this week just so many possibilities and sorry I really didn't get into the queen that much that queen it's it yes it's the air energy we were in that Gemini energy and again it's that clarity um but really like um top three chakras is like throat chakra third eye and your crown uh please allow yourself to be super 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 open to receiving okay and um you know every day do thing three things three things that you're grateful for um, morning and in the evening before you go to bed make sure you're doing some journaling or some sort of meditation for yourself do something that works for you um, what works for you might not work for other people so you have uh, new beginnings and this one here starting a new life finding your purpose and a forgiving and compassionate review of the past this is awesome so um very meaningful and uh this this kind of indicates that you have let things go that you have done your work that you have been uh, allowing yourself to shed and and say goodbye to the energies like like right now it's just super light vibrant really vibrant energy um very like attracting energy so make sure that you know you are asking the universe for what it is that you are looking to manifest into your life and queen of swords speak it into existence okay have that clarity of your throat chakra okay and now here this is the um divine oracle deck and it, this is kind of like one of my favorites i i kind of like re-found this oh, oh, oh oh my goodness so here you go this here also about setting boundaries and that clarity like i was saying that throat chakra there's that there's the very very directness with this so if there's anything that you feel that you won't don't want to do just simply say no you don't need to over explain yourself you don't need to explain yourself or justify yourself at all you can just simply say no you can say it doesn't resonate to me um i'm not aligned to it um you know it's just not for me something like that just make a statement make a statement or just say no to something that you don't feel aligned with that you don't want to do oh i love that oh my goodness say no wow so direct just like the queen of swords i love it all right so now this is the chakra deck and let's see what you are receiving for your chakra energy oh my goodness that was money okay give me one second that's the sacral chakra uh yeah give me one second i'll be right back and i'm back so this is really really cool sacral chakra like i said sacral chakra it is the doozy of all of the chakras because it it has so much meaning and all of the emotions and feelings that we all have in our own selves so what i mean by that is is the way you feel that you can attract your emotions around money and so for you to really be working on this sacral chakra for this week and uh mirror work do some mirror work stand in front of the mirror okay this this is exercises i used to do a very long time ago these are exercises that i used to talk about a very long time ago but here i find that i'm being asked to do this again so look at yourself in a in a mirror 
um, a full length mirror if you can. And you want to look at yourself and you want to say, I love you. You want to say, I love you. And you want to be looking directly in your eyes. Okay. And you want to say, I love you. I adore you. You're beautiful. You just give yourself so many compliments, but you keep saying, I love you. And so what that works on is your self worth okay, that works on your self love. And so when I did this many, many years ago, I looked in the mirror and I said it and but sorry, I didn't say it. I looked in the mirror, and I felt awkward and silly and ridiculous, and then kept trying. And then I looked and I know that I could say it when I was I could say it like inside, like silently inside myself, I could say it to myself when I'm looking inside my eyes. That is another kind of challenging thing is with the mirror work is looking inside your eyeballs. Okay, so focusing on that baby steps, there's not a huge feat, you don't have to do it right away, you really want to take it seriously. And you really want to look at your whole self. And then when you know, when you're all clothed, and then sometimes, um, or when you're ready, or if you are ever ready, um, unclothed, okay, because then you're looking at yourself and you're looking at yourself in your natural state. And you are saying, wow, I love everything about me that really builds up that inner confidence of yourself. But so getting back to what that means with the money is that you're deserving. You're deserving of it. You're deserving of a beautiful life. You're deserving of the life that you dream of. Keep manifesting this, keep attracting. So this one here, this is a water energy and it's also a huge abundance and a huge attractor, okay? So what I mean by that is that everything you are thinking and feeling, especially feeling, you're, you're omitting that. So if you're thinking that you can't do it, then that's what you're omitting. You want to continuously say, yes, I can do it. Yes, I am receiving this. Yes, this is happening. You want to visualize what you're receiving and you just, you want to feel the happiness, the joy in this. And so here, this is finances, power, generosity, and abundance. And then this is money. So money, huge, huge, huge sacral chakra. This is about you being deserving of that money and attracting the money into your life. Okay. Um, I can also, I have the book, it's over here, but comment um, in the comments because I can, I can write out the blurb or I can even take a picture of it. I think, I don't know if I can post a picture in the comments, but I will, I'll write it out. I'll write it out. And I'll also write out the affirmations for uh, the sacral chakra because I know that this is just so important. You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. So look in the comments or look in the description and look in the comments and or or both. Okay, so it's going to be in there. I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to put it in there. Um, and so that is it. That's it for the reading for this week. Um, big, big energy, big energy for you believing in yourself, believing in your dreams, you are attracting amazing, incredible relationships into your life whether that is romantic, whether that is uh, business, whether that's friendship, and you are going to make some really, really strong, awesome bonds moving forward. It's really exciting. And again, I just feel like this energy, there's this giddiness to this energy, this lightness, this fun, lighthearted energy. So please allow yourself to really, really honor yourself. Set those boundaries, say no, be very, very clear, ask for what it is that you want from other people and from source, okay? Because source is listening. And then this, like finding your purpose and starting that new life. That is really, really exciting. But is really exciting is that you are choosing you, you're honoring yourself, you're loving yourself, and you know that you are. I'm sorry, my alarm just went off, so I had to <laughs> finish this reading, which I am almost done. And so thank you so much for showing up for yourself. Thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support 
for my channel. If you would like your own reading, I do have 15 minutes for 35, I have 30 minutes for 62, and I have 60 minutes for 125. I love you all. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Please like and subscribe. Mwah.